Joining us on the line, Mike Lomas of the Financial Guys. We are talking New Year's resolutions all throughout the show. And of course, everyone has kind of two big things, right? It's get in better shape. Let's start working out more. And the other thing is some sort of financial New Year's resolution. Spend a little bit better, save a little bit more. Mike, uh, you're certainly the expert in that. I'm sure you have a lot of people coming to you at the start of the year looking to maybe better manage their money a little bit. Yeah, well, we get two, we get part of the two of it. One is the better manage their money. The other is they can now put a new IRA contribution in for the year 2020. So we get a few of the folks who are really regulars at really making sure they save and they're ahead of schedule, and they're the first ones in our office during the new year putting money away. So you hear always hear the new New Year's resolutions of save more, improve your credit score. I would I would encourage people to take it a, a step further and create what I call a personal roadmap. And, you know, as looking at some of the financial New Year's resolutions online, you see create a budget. I think that is probably the most important part of retirement planning. Glenn and I always talk on our Saturday show about understanding what your number is. And what we mean by that is how much money do you need to set aside to retire? And everybody has a different number. Some people might need a million dollars. Some people might need $500,000. Some people might need 100000 Some people might need $10 million. But you're not going to know that number unless you can develop and create a budget for yourself, understanding how much money you want to live on every month. And that's really important. It's not the need. It's the want. Do you want to go out for fish fries on a Friday in retirement? Do you want to be able to travel, right? So you create a budget understanding what your monthly bills are today, but then let's look at inflation and let, let, let's look at what we want to do in retirement and we'll bring that number forward to really come up with a, 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 a pretty specific number on what our goal is to retire. Do we need $5,000 a month or do we need 10000 Because if we need 10000 as opposed to 5000 that lump sum has to be bigger, right, to support that. And then we need to find out what that number is to get you to that number. So, Really, some I would I would really challenge people this year to do some advanced planning and really do some goal planning because you know now is the time everybody gets in shape and I know I work out at the gym a few days a week and January is always that month where it's 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 tough to get a treadmill so uh, you know but a lot of folks do stick with it throughout the rest of the year and now's the time to do that with your financial plan. Yeah. Hey, you know how do you top last year in terms of the markets, the Dow, the Nasdaq, S and P? We're all through the roof in 2019. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I'm a little bit torn by that. I, it's Look, we had a great year last year. But I want to bring everybody back uh, 13 months ago. Because if I brought you back 13 months ago, the Dow Jones Industrial Average had about a 4,000-point pullback between September of 2018 and the beginning of 2019. So we started the year on the Dow at, a, at about the, around 23,000, but let's bring you back to the beginning of 2018, the Dow was at 27,000. So if I put a blindfold on you and I said, okay, from the beginning of 2018 now to the beginning of 2020, the Dow went from 27,000 to 28,500, and not so hot, right? So what we're measuring last year's performance on, and, and I'm not, I don't want to take anything away from it, but we're measuring it from the bottom, basically, of a pullback that happened at the end of 2018. So I'm happy to see the market bounce back. But when you look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average over the last 12 months, it's up about 5,500 points, but we lost 4,000 of that <laughs> at the end of 2018. And so, um, you know, I think, look at the market is at an all-time high. That's a great thing. Uh, but there's a few concerns out there for me, though. It is, they're starting to see pockets that are a little bit expensive. On the flip side of it, though, you're start, you also still see companies out there that have lots of cash, and, and their price relative to their earnings is pretty attractive. Uh, I, I think you also see the Federal Reserve on our side, which is a big deal. So I'm not a big believer in saying, okay, well, the stock market's at an all-time high. It can't go higher. I also think you shouldn't be naive enough to just not do anything. And I think you do that through rebalancing and taking some of those profits off the table and just you know, going back to your original plan, and that's another New Year's resolution is to say, where did you start your allocation last year? Let's bring you back in line. And you should be doing that every six months anyways. Yeah, I was just about to say, maybe a New Year's resolution for a lot of people is just to figure out 
where their money is and, and what it's doing <laughs> for, you know, uh, maybe they're uh, the type of investor who uh, put some money in, set it aside or set, you know, something to go into a 401k and just never really looked at it again. And now it's, you know, five years later and they're still kind of uh, saying, hmm, yeah, I think I've got some money somewhere some uh, for something at a future date. Or we call it a portfolio x-ray and it absolutely should be done. And, you know, it doesn't with the technology and the tools out there, we can uh, sit down with somebody and within minutes, really, start to input in what they have, and it will bring us back a report that says, here's exactly what they own. And I think a lot of times people are really surprised. They think diversification is, well, I own seven different things, but what if those seven different things are all buying the same types of stocks or bonds, right? That's defeating the purpose. And so, yeah, a- absolutely great point is that you know, now is also a time to do a portfolio x-ray and really understand what, what you're invested in and why you're invested in that, right? What is your tolerance for risk? And then what are you invested in and does it match up? Mike, we're glad you could join us this morning. Happy New Year to you. Hope those resolutions work out for you. Oh, thank you. Take care. All right. There is Mike Lomas, the financial guy. So New Year's resolution.